In this video I want to demonstrate how to alter the passenger set for, that is uh, configured for stations and for rolling stock. Now this is probably very basic stuff for many uh, trains users but I keep, still keep getting the question asked um, how to just edit it and uh, what you have to do is work in the config text file of the particular asset. So here we have Watlington Station. This is the route I'm using just to demonstrate uh, my new um, old Great Western Claristry carriages and you can see some over there in the distance including ones that I haven't released yet but I'm still testing out and um, and there'll be a number, quite a few more of those to come. So what I've done here is originally when I made Wat Watlington Station and I released it onto the um, onto my website and I think it's on the DLS now um, it just had the generic Oran uh, N3V uh, passenger set which is not really appropriate for the Victorian period and uh, because it has a lot of people in shorts and modern clothing and all the rest of it and they all look very nicely tanned in a, in a classic Australian manner. Anyway um, so I changed it to the Victorian set. Now this is the one done by John Whelan and it's an excellent uh, passenger set comprising a number of figures. Okay I know they're repeated but that's the way with passenger sets and it really um, catches the period of the 18, uh, 1880s, 1890s and into the Edwardian period which is uh, what I'm making my carriages for. And uh, so what I've done is I've hacked the, or I've altered, I've hardly hacked, the config text file for Watkinson Station from the one that I released um, to change the passenger set to uh, the Victorian one. And it's a very straightforward thing to do and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate it here. So let's go over to some blank ground and what I'm going to add is... Um, I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to load up uh, a, a Princeton station. Princeton station, there it is. And this is another one that I've made which has got um, uh, passengers already enabled. And you can see there that it's a somewhat grimmer station than Watlington. I suppose as befits uh, something right next to the, uh, or near the prison on Dartmoor. And it was the end of the branch uh, of a branch. So let's just add a bit more track. So I'm going to use the Tain one track wood and let's just go add a bit of track. And my um, set track or the track that I've um, installed with it uh, will change automatically. Let's just make sure that we can. This is more just for the show than anything else. I mean, I'm not going to run any particular trains here or anything. So it's a demonstration. And click on there and holding down the shift key so it doesn't join up at the end. There we are. I'm not going to worry too much about the look of it. But you can see there that's Princeton Station. And um, it actually had uh, these two great platforms, great long platforms at the end of the branch. Bits and pieces of it are left. I've also modelled some other aspects of Princeton Station. Uh, let me see, what else have we got here? We've got the loco shed. I think the signal box and that sort of thing. Yeah, there's the signal box. So, for example, that was over this way. Pretty austere looking buildings. Yeah, there's the, the loco shed. Hmm. Anyway, we won't worry about that. I'll just get rid of that. So here we have Princeton Station and here we have our classic built-in passenger set which um, almost looked vaguely 1980s to me. Uh, I don't know, not very, not very yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyway, okay. Now what's going to happen is that uh, when I change the passenger set, this particular um, iteration of Princeton Station, let's make sure we're we're still there with it. Um, we'll still show these, it won't update I don't think. Um, but let's get on and alter it. So what we need to do is we'll just minimize this out of the way and we'll go into Content Manager and here's Princeton Station. As you can see I finished it in about a year ago, 14th of August 2017. 
but uh, actually only uploaded it on the 30th of May this year. So right click and then open and then edit the config file text. Okay, so this is content manager we're in here. These are all my own programs. And in the, it always looks pretty daunting looking at a config text file and you just have to sort of break it down. Invariably I find somebody else's config text file and use that as a guide to get me through all the vagaries of various things. And you can see all these triggers for the tracks. Um, but this is the important thing, queues. Now this is what we want to alter here. This is the KUID for the default passenger set. And it's also repeated down at various places here, which I'm going to go through in a minute. And also down here in the KUID table. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in, just going to edit by typing in over the top of the existing KUID. First of all, we're going to type in John Whelan's personal number. There we are, 86627, and then a colon, and then the specific ID for his Victorian passenger set. So that's brilliant. That's what we want. And the, the passenger queue, this is passenger queue one, and the, the size of the passenger is 30. Well, I thought that was reasonable. Maximum of about 30 that you could have on the, each platform, or on the station rather. And then initial count, there'd be eight people will appear and these are all the uh, these are all the uh, attachment points that, I've, that you don't see in trains but which are in the model um, and you make the model so let's copy that in fact let's copy it to the opening and closing brackets control C and then wherever the old one appears just replace it control B and so on passengers on platform North or platform, you had the first platform, and then passengers on the second platform, which is, and then passengers are off the first platform, and passengers are off the second platform, and then process passenger spawning duration. I don't think I've ever mucked about with those settings, just crib them, string table. And there's my little description. And you can extend the platforms if you want. And then down here, make sure you change that to that one. Okay. And that's it. So now we just save that. And you see we've got it open for edit. So now we're going to submit edits. Chunk it away. And I did have a bit of a problem with this earlier on today, so. I'm hoping it's not going to be a problem now. <clears throat> okay, so you can see here that it took a while to do it because I'd left trains open and for this particular type of model, uh, the station, it was uh, having trouble um, committing the asset. So we tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. On the ninth time, it um, it worked out okay because at about this point here, but halfway down this, I actually closed trains. So now we have it modified, and we can open up. Just need to come. And here we are at the opening page. So now we're just going to go into my carriage test route, and you can see that I've not saved. When I closed it, I didn't save that we had Princeton Station. So let's go back up here. Here it is again, and pop it in. And this time, we've got the Victorian people. So there they all are, uh, some Victorian looking characters, the same as at uh, Watlington Station over here. And so now what we can do is add the track put the track in so this is something you need to consider before making your route and what you might like to do is to make a copy in content manager if we have a look at that and we can where are we download, download, download. somewhere there is a pb asset maybe it's up here uh, file, edit developer, content, clone it, you can 
clone it and um, give it a different name if you want to with so it would be like GGWR Princeton Station 1890 something like that so you can keep the original version and you can have a second copy uh, and clone yourself and I never mind anybody doing that to my uh, assets so there we are the tracks a bit weird isn't it uh, let's just move that tiny that up a bit but there we are that gives you an idea of how to uh, change the uh, set KUID of the passenger set for stations and um, I know it's probably something that everybody knows or everybody expects everybody to know but um, I, as I say I do keep getting asked the question and so it would be that's why I'm doing this video just to show you what to do make it nice and um, quick and easy to change over you just Basically what you need to do is when you're planning your layout is to make sure all of the assets are set for the correct uh, passenger type that you want to use. If you're happy with the default or an um, N3B passenger set, fair enough, I don't mind. Um, they look a bit odd in their Victorian carriages, uh, but there you go. If that's the way you want to do it, that's the way you can do it. And um, uh, but I would expect everybody to, or expect most people to want to use the Victorian passengers, which makes such a uh, an improvement on the overall uh, look of a Victorian railway. So there we are. Um, my next video will be introducing some more of these uh, clerestory and non-clerestory vehicles built in the 1880s and 1890s. I'm still on my Victorian theme and will remain on that theme for quite a while yet. So I hope this video has been of use. Uh, I hope if you have any queries, comments, questions, whatever, uh, please do um, post them up and um, please give me a thumbs up if you like it, if it's been helpful, and please subscribe to my channel, ING for Trains.